Hi everyone, the plan today is to work out how to replace the hard disk in this Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series or more specifically the Dell model number P75F and registration type number P75F001 and Dell part number 2G M9M and uh, manufactured 2018 it looks like it's going to be a nightmare to open as most modern machines seem to be so I'm going to start by undoing there's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws They are all of different lengths, so keep a memory or a map of where the screws came out from. Well, I say they're all different lengths, one of them is a different length. So now starts the guessing. I'm going to have to move on to my trusty spudger. So this is one of the machines I'm most nervous about opening actually. Seems like it's designed not to be opened. Right, that's done most of the front and the left hand side. Unlike most machines, it doesn't seem to crack open. It uh, seems quite kind of spongy when it unclips. Right, 
So that's done basically that side, that side, and uh, and the left hand side. I'm going to close the the lid and see whether we can lift up the cover. Looks like there's a couple of clips down here. There we go, so lifting it from the side which doesn't have the HDMI and network, so the HDMI and network are on that side, lift it up gently and kind of push, I think I was pushing that way, to undo the clips there. It's now just this corner which is uh, needs wiggling undone. And there we go, that's the, the case there. So basically this just unscrews, needs something very thin, thinner than a credit card, to unclip around the edge very gently, all the way around the edge, and then from the side without the network and HDMI, you lift it up and it unclips at the back here. So that's the hard disk there. Let's see what other stuff we've got while we're at it. We've got RAM. Yeah. Move this closer. So RAM there, Wi-Fi and possibly Bluetooth card there. The battery there. If you had the version with an SSD, it's quite likely to be an NGFF, so next generation format uh, SSD, which would be a card that's there. In my instance it's a standard hard disk machine, the hard disk is here. BIOS battery, obviously CPU fan, that's got to be most likely the video connector. So other than it not being quite as accessible as previous ones where you just take a, a door off the underside you can get to the hard disk, it's not so bad. Um, so let's swap the hard disk out. So it looks like there's four screws, one there, one there, one there, and uh, another one there. and it's on a, a small fly lead which runs under the battery. So very gently disconnect the connector. And that's the hard disk. Looks like it's a very thin one. In this instance, the model number which is in it is an ST1000LM035, that's what was in from the factory. And people occasionally ask me whether it's a thin or how thick the drive is. And I quite often forget to, uh, to work it out, and then it's too late because I don't have the machine, so I then cannot tell people, so let's, uh, let's measure it. Looks like it's seven millimeters thick. So to swap out the hard disk, take out the four screws at the side of the metal bracket.
And there's the old drive. There's the new one that I want to put in. Because I'm trying to put it in upside down. Yes, I definitely am. So, don't be a moron like me. Pay attention to the orientation that the drive goes. Again, gently, given that that's a really thin cable there. Plug the connector back in and drop the drive down back into its uh, where it sits. Then you've got the four screws that hold it in place. And now we're ready to put the cover back on. So, I'm going to start the way that it came off. So I'm going to put that corner down first, then that edge. Push down firmly on all the sides to make sure that it's clipped down. Then I'm going to put the cover back on. Uh, before I screw the rest on, I'm just going to make sure, and I'm glad I did, that it's fully clipped down because quite often just doing it from one side doesn't get everything. And there we go, that is one hard disk, or at least in this case, an SSD put into this Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series. Which also looks like it's out of batteries. 
uh, while I'm plugging this in. Uh, if this video has helped you, it would really help me if you wouldn't mind subscribing. I don't really care whether you watch any future videos, but well, I guess it would be nice. Um, and you don't need to have notifications on for when I post videos. But it would really help me if uh, my subscriber numbers were higher. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be fantastic. Thank you. primary hard disk, 250 gigabytes, which is the size of the SSD which I've put in. Uh, so, brilliant. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Good luck if you do it yourself.